What's going on, everybody? Back again today with a TRX How To. Today, we're going to take a look at the TRX Lunge. This is one exercise I see done a ton of different ways, but let's show you the standard and how it's supposed to be done. Then you can add your flares to it, however you want that to look like. First up, let's get that TRX set at mid-calf length. So mid-calf length, we want the bottom of those foot cradles to hit us right at the middle of our calf. You set one side, then you set the other. Then we're going to pinch both of those rubber handles together. We're going to stick that right foot through both foot cradles. Let's begin down on the ground. I like to start here. This way we can make sure a couple things are set. We've got this 90 degree bend in that front leg with that knee stacked right over the ankle. That torso is nice and tall. And then that back knee is right underneath of that hip. From here, I want to simultaneously press both legs into the ground or into that foot cradle and stand and then equal pressure lower back down just hovering the knee off of the ground and then return to that tall standing position i'm trying to bring my knees towards each other squeeze the butt brace the abs and then lower right back down now some common faults that i see a lot that we don't want to do number one is this this is not the lunge. This is a form of a lunge, but it's not the lunge here that we're looking for. This is going to put emphasis on that front leg and little to no in that back leg. The other thing we want to look for here is on that lunge is that we are bending both knees equally, making sure that we are coming straight down like we are riding an elevator and not riding the escalator, meaning our chest goes forward and back. So that's how you perform the TRX lunge. Make sure you hold the standards first. And like I said, you can then build upon that and do whatever you want to do. Go get after it. Hope you guys have a good one.